Hey guys, it's that awesome, awesome time of year again where Cinda Williams Chema comes out with another Seven Realms novel. Um, she tends to be doing this every fall, so it's very exciting. I am very pleased today to bring you a week early review of The Grey Wolf Throne. For those of you who don't know, Cinda Williams Chema also wrote the Air series, which was a fantastic series, and I believe she's making more of those, which is very exciting. So the story of that isn't quite over yet. As for the Seven Realms, novels. Um, she wrote The Demon King, which I don't have right now because someone's borrowing it, um, The Exiled Queen, and of course the newest one, which is Grey Wolf Throne, which comes out August 30th, um, so very, very soon. Um, I hope you're all as excited about it as I am, and I'm just going to talk about what I thought about it and, and why I thought it was amazing. What I, I love so much about the Seven Realms novels is that each book in the series has been so incredibly different. Um, the first one we're introduced to this world of the Seven Realms which is so different from our own but yet has elements of the same and um, we are thrown into the two separate lives of Han Alistair and Ryasa who is the princess of the Fells. We are shown two different perspectives of what it's like to grow up in the Fells and um, slowly those two lives of Han and Ryasa they sort of mesh together um, and that's sort of what I love about all three of these books is that Han and Raisa always start separately and then they somehow always come together like fate is always drawing them together. The second book, The Exiled Queen, I, I loved the change of scenery. We move from the Fells to Odinsford which is sort of like this school um, that teaches people all sorts of different skills and Rice is in hiding there. And Han is there also just um, trying to learn wizardry and it, it's very it's very different and um, I love it that they're always separated and, and they're always something else to each other and, and what's exciting about Grey Wolf Throne is that Han and Raisa finally know the true everything about each other and, and how they deal with that. Um, there's no more secrets really. Grey Wolf Throne is, as the title suggests, all about the future of the Grey Wolf Throne. As we know, Risa is in line to the throne um, after her mother Mariana and um, we're kind of left with an uncertain future of what it's going to mean to be on the Grey Wolf throne. Grey Wolf throne is inexplicably tied to Rice's and Han's future and it's really exciting to see how that develops. All of our favorite old characters return in this novel, which is so exciting. I have always loved that in Cinda Williams' Chima's novels, and this goes for all of them, including the Air series, that the romance is kept at such a great pace. There's so much more going on in this series um, than romance, but it's it's one of those things that um, even though it's not timely for romance to happen, sometimes you just can't help it. So strategically placed that you're so involved with the large overwhelming storyline that's going on but you're still um, captivated by the romance that happens between Han and Risa. Han is just immaculate in this book. I, I've, I've always had a soft spot for him. He's always been a great narrator but I am I am just I see what Risa sees in him now in this book. I just I love Han. He's, he's sort of forced into this entirely new position in a life that he's never really expected he'd be in. The only thing that threw me off about this book and it's same with the exiled queen I thought was the first like 50 pages of both of these books are like dedicated to traveling um, but the Seven Realms, it, it kind of gives us a nice example of how large they are, and um, and and it's completely necessary to show all of that. Um, and and although it's it's to me it's a little dull the traveling. Um, China gives it a perfect t opportunity for us to um, be thrown back into the lives of the Seven Realms. I mean, with a year between each of these books, um, you kind of forget characters and what's happened and so she strate strategically places um, our relearning of the Seven Realms and what's going on with our characters. So it, it makes sense and it works out really well. The Grey Wolf Throne is just as epic as its two predecessors. Um, I love the story. I love the characters. Um, I love that they're constantly being thrown into new situations so we get to see them grow and develop so no character stays static. The storyline is so intense this time around. It's definitely my favorite of um, the Seven Realms so far. I'm so, so excited for the next one. Um, it's just, it's just so good. A young adult classic, but I think it's for every age. It's got romance, fate, loyalty, sacrifice, and of course love. A great read for any age, and I highly recommend any of Cinda Williams' Chima's works. They're all great. I'm just so excited for everyone else to get it and read it, and please let me know what you think when you do. It's so good, and I'm, I'm so excited. Um, 
that I got to read it early again. Thank you again, Cinda, for that. And um, I all hope that you will check out The Grey Wolf Throne by Cinda Williams Sharma and any of the Sun, Moon, Realms novels or the Air series. So, yes, please do that. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.